Why are secure perimeters failing? Today you'll learn how Zero Trust fits within modern network architectures and how Zero Trust automation can speed up your Zero Trust deployments. Hi, my name is Paul Andre Devera, the head of growth at TwinGate. In the next few minutes, I will go over what is Zero Trust automation. Legacy network security solutions have become brittle, expensive, and increasingly vulnerable to attack. Zero Trust Network Access promises a more consistent, responsive, and secure approach to access control. Despite these benefits, deploying and managing Zero Trust security architectures introduces a new complexities. Conventional secure perimeter approach to access control are built upon an assumption that our outer layer of defenses is enough to protect a private network and by extension, the network's connected devices and resources. Secure perimeter technologies also assume that remote users' credentials and devices, once authenticated, are always trustworthy. As evidenced by constant reports of security breaches, the secure perimeter no longer works. Networks, resources, users, and devices are not confined within the business's walls of under-administrator's direct control. Today's networking ecosystem is decentralized and much more dynamic. Distributed workforces, with today's hybrid workforces, many, if not most, employees are working from home. Blended workforces compromising employees, freelancers, and outside contractors are increasingly common. Managing this is constantly shifting the user base require access policies that apply to every combination of user and work location. Device proliferation. Device management has become just as complicated. Bring your own device policies have replaced managed devices and fractured administrators control over the device landscape. Access policies must support multiple form factors, manufacturers and operating systems. Decentralized networks. Thanks to cloud computing, many mission critical systems have broken free of the secure perimeter. Any number of resources could be hosted on cloud platforms or outsourced to SaaS service providers. As a result, the internet is as much as a part of the company network as an on-prem LAN. Traditional secure perimeter frameworks cannot cope with today's diverse dynamic networking ecosystem for several reasons. Over-reliance on trust. Once a VPN or other secure perimeter technology grants user access to a protected network, the users can use anything on that network. Hackers who compromise the user's device or credentials get the same access, are free to move laterally, and expand their beachhead and escalating their credentials. Fragmented infrastructure. Every cloud platform and SaaS provider has its own access control system. Administrators must somehow enforce these consistent policies across a fragmented infrastructure without leaving gaps that hackers could exploit. Administrative overhead. Traditional technologies embed access control of the physical network. Changes to access policies require changes to network hardware and vice versa. As a result, secure perimeters are brittle, unresponsive to new business requirements and expensive to maintain. Weaknesses in secure perimeters have become increasingly apparent. SolarWinds and other high profile security breaches have forced IT leaders to face facts. Secure perimeters are not and never will be secure. Administrative overhead combined with brittle and fragmented infrastructures poses particular challenges for DevSecOps. Automation is essential to streamline the development, deployment, and management of IT infrastructure. However, integrating granular access control policies into these tools requires constant care and feeding. As a result, over-permissioned CI-CD tools and under-protected development and production environments expand the organization's attack surface, putting sensitive data at risk. Zero Trust Network Access offers a better framework for providing secure access to today's decentralized network ecosystem. Every federal agency has been told to develop a Zero Trust architecture strategy. In the private sector, businesses small and large see Zero Trust as the way to shrink their attack surface without hindering their business. Zero Trust removes the security perimeter's inherent trust in the network's resources, device, and users. Zero Trust security models are based on three core principles. Assume breach. Verify explicitly. Least privilege access. Assume breach reflects the reality of modern cybersecurity. Under persistent threat, any user credential, device, resource, or network could be compromised at any time. ZTNI solutions deny all access requests by default until trust can be established. 
Verify explicitly requires every user, no matter how high or low in the organization, to authenticate with every access request. Identity verification is not enough. The user's network, their device security posture, and other context factors inform the ZTNA solution's decision of whether to grant access. Least privileged access policies provide granular control over what resources users may access under which context. Zero trust security policies limit users' access to the specific resources they need for their work. Initially, organizations struggled to justify the move to zero trust. Few had the resources to duplicate Google's pioneering zero trust security model. Modern zero trust security practices using solutions such as twin gates make deploying zero trust much easier. However, this modern access framework is not without its challenges. IT infrastructure is split across network silos. Configuring and deploying granular zero trust controls to provide both on-prem and cloud security in is orders of magnitude more complex. Even for mid-sized organizations, automation is the only way to meet zero trust deployment objectives. First, businesses need to know that a zero trust solution can control access to their cloud platform in addition to on-prem resources. Unifying access control within a single system allows for more simpler and more consistent policy enforcement across the business decentralized network architecture. At the same time, businesses need ZTNA solutions that, that comply with good DevSecOps practices. Brittle network access controls often give automation tools too much access. As a result, systems with access to the most sensitive resources become security vulnerabilities. Zero trust automation must be the part of systems development lifecycle, protecting the development process itself in addition to the production resources. To engage secure access solution was designed from the start to deliver enterprise class zero trust network access and consumer grade usability. Thanks to our software-based approach and automation capabilities, Twingate customers have deployed ZTNA globally in as little as 15 minutes. Twingate lets you deploy zero trust to any resource whether it runs on-prem or lives in the cloud. With a single Docker command, you can deploy a Twingate connector to AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Compute to protect virtual machines, databases, and web apps. You can also use Twingate in the management of Kubernetes clusters or to securely access a service within an unexposed cluster. Although you can deploy Twingate's components manually while learning how our solution works, you can use our solution with your existing Internet as Code automation tools. Our Terraform and Pulumi providers, for example, let you script connector deployments, definitions of Twingate's protected resources, and access provisioning for those resources. We also offer a GraphQL-based admin API to automate your TwinGate configuration as well as to provision connectors and new tokens in code. To test code that accesses protected resources, continuous integration tools such as Jenkins or CircleCI must have access to the same resources. In the past, that may have required constant maintenance of complex VPN configurations. Automatically deploying a TwinGate client into your CI tools lets them access the right protected resources while the code is being tested. Once the testing is complete, the permissions can be revoked programmatically. If you use GitLab, GitHub, or other public repositories for version control, your source code could be at risk. TwinGate lets you control access to these public repositories by requiring explicit verification and applying device posture tests to prevent unauthorized access. Twingate's API also supports zero trust automation and orchestration workflows. Our real-time analytics tool outputs connections logs from every Twingate connector to single JSON objects. Security information and event management platforms such as Splunk, AWS, CloudWatch can easily ingest these logs to automate the monitoring of your zero trust infrastructure. As legacy secure perimeter technologies continue to break under the pressures of today's diverse decentralized network ecosystems, Zero Trust Network Access promises to shrink the attack services dramatically while eliminating the brittle and expensive approaches of the past. Zero Trust deployments, however, introduce a new kind of complexity that could undermine DevSecOps productivity. Twingate's Zero Trust solution integrates with your existing IAC strategies and CICD pipelines, letting you automate deployments and make deployments more secure. Contact Twingate today to learn how easy Zero Trust automation can be. Till next time, see you later, Gator.